Day in the life of an unemployed 24 year old who makes 100k a month. Let's get it. Just woke up. Nah, just kidding, I'm, I'm lying. I was scrolling on TikTok for like the past hour. But yeah, it's Saturday. So I don't really do much work on the weekends. I like to take the day off, rest, relax. And then by the time Monday rolls around, I'm recharged and ready to get back to work. Luckily, at my stage of entrepreneurship, five years into it, I could do this. But back when I was grinding, when I was first starting out, it was like every day we're talking nonstop work, just doing whatever I can to make my first dollar online, hit my first 10K a month, and eventually my first 100K a month. So don't be like me to start out, but I'm just showing you what's possible at the end of the tunnel. Or maybe not the end of the tunnel for me because I still have my journey to go through, but as you keep progressing through this entrepreneurship journey, the more time freedom you're able to buy back from yourself. But it's just in the beginning, you're gonna have to grind extremely hard and work extremely hard, but you don't have to do that forever. It's just that initial stages of entrepreneurship, you're gonna have to fight like hell to make it work. And then eventually once you do, I'm not saying to take your foot off the gas pedal, but eventually it becomes more productive to take one to two days off per week to rest and be recharged by the time the next week starts. But that's enough yapping for this intro. Let's get the day started. Let's Yo, heart gone cold like Palmer. Go still shot like Bennett. She wanna question me, I go ask me, babe, go I spread it. I was drunk and high on my face, I sent that text and then unsent it. I feel like Vimeo. She wanted like these TikTok bagels in Virginia that she saw. Uh, so I drove like 20 minutes out to just get them before I left. Careful. <laughs> nice. How's it? Mmm. Good? Little stale, but. Oh, well, it's okay. a two day old bagel. Mmm. It's just like a bagel. We toasted this one. Allison, uh, where are we going? A Christmas market. Why? Because it's Christmas. All right, Allison, how was the market? It was good. I got this bracelet, and then I got a sweater that he said was ugly, but I like I didn't it. Say it was Do you like it? He's like, it's okay. okay. Mm. That is not code word for ugly. Yeah. Ugly. That's your perception. grocery store because uh, your boy is about to cook for the lady. Again! What are we making? Now? What are you making? I don't know. Fish. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, we're about to try the pistachio ice cream that we got a couple hours ago. Mmm! It's fire. I like the texture. It's salty. A little salty, right? Alright, Allison's asleep now, so I gotta post today's YouTube video. So I guess when you're watching this, it was yesterday's video. About to head off to bed. I'm tired as hell. You know the drill. Numbers for the day. $1,294. Which isn't great by any means, but I didn't do any work today. And there's always like a dilemma with that. It's like when I'm like working too hard, there's some days I wish I could just like take a break and relax. And then when it's like my off day, when I'm not supposed to work, I just like want to keep working and keep growing my business to the next level. And I just always have to remind myself, if I keep pushing too hard, eventually I'm gonna burn out and eventually I'm gonna resent all the work I'm doing. Days like this, typical Saturdays, I don't really touch work just because I know I need to be refreshed by Sunday so I can start off the week on the right foot. Not gonna lie, I was itching all day today to put in some work and get some major breakthroughs in my business, but I know for my mental health and to make sure I can sustain and maintain for the long term, rest days are definitely needed. I know in the long term, it's gonna be a lot more sustainable to get to where I need to be. Now, if you're a beginner watching this, remember I'm on year five of my journey. So when I first started out, I was grinding every single day, just trying to make my first dollar online, hit 10K a month, eventually hit 100K a month. But eventually, once you get to the point where I'm at now, where you're able to just make money and not do as much work, you can rest sometimes and you can chill sometimes. Not take your foot off the gas pedal, but strategically rest so you're able to feel refreshed 
and overall in the long term, put in more work. If you are a beginner wondering how I'm able to make all this money and how exactly I got started, I just made a free course breaking out exactly how I made $2 million profit just type messages on my phone. And you can do it too, or make like three to 4K a month from home if you want. It's on YouTube, check out this playlist right here and get a pen and paper out because it's gonna be saucy. So again, check out this playlist right here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.